hi hello in this video what we are going to see is how to create an MSI application in Intune log into Azure portal and um, go to Intune blade and in Intune blade go to mobile apps mobile apps in the mobile apps blade you can see a lot of options click on apps click on add select so for uploading MSI uh, you need to select a line of business application option over here from add app uh, blade and select your MSI file browse it okay I'm going to upload iSpring so I have selected the MSI and um, Intune is able to automatically retrieve the information the version of the application and what is the size of the application is it MAM enabled or not um, permission execution next is uh, I need to provide the app information app information name is already taken from the MSI you can provide a description a description I have given screen capture and I don't remember the publisher name so I put unknown okay from MSI it already took uh, the app will be installed in a device context okay it's not per user uh, context it's a device context uh, ignore app version I will keep this as default uh, I will say this is a business app for me display it's in the feature okay I'm fine with that let's see you can put any URL here information URL if you have any if you have any command line argument you can provide how to find out a command line okay, okay I spring MSI slash question mark that will provide you the supported command lines so there is a quad switch this is the one so probably we can try that over here in the command line so user won't get any window of pop-up while installing this application these are not mandatory information you can leave it as it is if you want to provide a logo of application you can do that so I have already provided all the mandatory uh, information if you have a star mark asterisk mark then that is a required field you cannot skip that you need to provide an information so just click OK and click on add you, as you can see uh, the application is created and this is an important information as you can see Intune is uploading the MSI uh, to the cloud you can see your app is not ready yet it is going to take maybe one or two minutes depending on your internet connection and uh, the size of the MSI uploading it says 22.89 so as you can see the, the the MSI is uploaded you can click on the bell button over here notification button over here you will come to know the, whether the upload uh, is successful or not so if I click on iSpring you can see I have not assigned this application to any user group you can click on assignment add group select the assignment type available available may user needs to uh, go into company portal and install it user needs to trigger it if it's required it will automatically get installed there is no user interaction required okay there are a couple of options available here so I will select required and I will select a group over here if you want to deploy to all users you can do that as a required or if you want to uh, deploy to all devices you can do that okay. I will select Bangalore users <laughs> click OK there is no option actually user context option is not there because MSE is not uh, user context its device and even you if you want you can exclude some groups and click on save Let's let's see the deployment status I have synced into let me refresh company portal so we can see our application over here after the refresh iSpring free cam 
let me click on that okay that is the option to install it let me try to install the installation didn't go well it says install failed the initial application installation got failed but uh, I uh, restarted the machine and retried it it automatically fixed the issue now you can see application is installed and it's over here it was it was kind of a quiet install as we used the silent key so the application got installed as you can see over here thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed and click on bell button to get the notification bye bye